To be completely candid, my morning routine since lockdown has changed. Um, it's become a little bit more relaxed. I think structure is definitely important, but uh, since quarantine, life has chilled out a little bit. And I definitely don't mean on a global level. Life is not chill globally, but quarantine life is pretty chill. I start my day just like you, waking up. I know, okay? This is some next level-ish right here. I'm definitely not much of a morning person. Sometimes I'll look at a book on the side and pretend like I want to read it, and then I'm good to go, you know? I'm, I'm feeling inspired. Now, before I shower and get ready for my day, uh, I like to eat and do a morning workout, um, but just to help me wake up before getting into all of that, I like to just throw on some cold water, help me wake up a little bit. If I'm going into a workout, then usually, like I just said, I'll just rinse my face and wash it properly later, but today's video is sponsored by my homies over at Tej Hanley, and they've got something here a little new to show you guys. You guys know already, I'm a big advocator for a good grooming routine, and I always say, like I always say, the best grooming routine for you is one that you can stay consistent at. Well, Tej Hanley just dropped a new system called the Starter System. It's the most affordable option regarding their subscription service, and includes their fantastic face wash and their AM moisturizer with built-in SPF to protect you from that sun. Yes, but maybe right now you don't need the protection from the sun, you're not outside, but one day, believe it or not, you'll be allowed to go back outside. For a lot of us, the selection of grooming products in stores can just be overwhelming. I mean, I've been there too. There's just so many options. And the great thing about this system is that you get a good taste of what Tiche has to offer with their most essential products. The wash is very lightweight. It does a great job of cleansing while also smelling amazing. And the moisturizer is surprisingly lightweight considering it has SPF inside. Of course, if you're a level 50 pro groomer, you might want to check out one of their other systems, one of their other subscription systems that has a bit more of a fuller package. I personally use the level three as my regular driver. But if you're new to the grooming game and you like to keep it simple, 15 bucks for a quality face wash and moisturizer, it's not bad at all. Plus for your first month, you'll be getting a SPF moisturizing lip balm thrown in there completely free. Check out all things Tiege with my link down below. Following a refreshing face wash, I brush my teeth with an electric toothbrush. I've said it before, electric toothbrushes are far superior to manual. It's instantly noticeable, uh, and that's, that's what I have to say about that. If you don't have an electric toothbrush, I promise you it's a game changer. All right, so now that I've got my face washed, I've got my teeth brushed, feeling a little bit more alive, it's time to come to the kitchen. Now, I'm not like huge on cooking, although recently during quarantine, I've really been enjoying cooking more. Uh, when it comes to breakfast, I'm not a big breakfast eater, but I like to layer my stomach a little bit. So I like to do things that are simple, but tasty. So I'm gonna be first off making um, a coffee and then my signature breakfast dish, which I'll show you guys that in a second. Okay, so I actually um, found out about this coffee recipe from Dinty the other day. She Googled how to make like an iced coffee, something simple, uh, which we later found out is actually a huge trend right now on TikTok. So this is not very original, but I'm appealing to all the TikTok kids out there with this one. I'm definitely a fan of having a coffee. Uh, I, I drink iced coffees more often than hot coffees. I am not no coffee connoisseur, okay? So any of you coffee connoisseurs, you are uh, probably not gonna like what you're about to see, but this is such a simple way to make a delicious, frothy, creamy iced coffee. Check it out. What you need is two tablespoons hot water. I've got one tablespoon in the cup, second one right there. Two tablespoons instant coffee. This is just a super cheap coffee that I've got from uh, CVS. If you care more about coffee, you can buy a higher quality one than this. And then you need two tablespoons of sugar. Now you can use regular granulated sugar, but I made my own uh, simple syrup and I don't have a proper storage container, so it's just in a glass right now. Simple syrup is super easy to make. It's literally just um, equal parts water and sugar. So it's one cup water, one cup sugar. Heat it up until it's boiling and it's all dissolved. Easy as that. And then we get to the fun part. So right now this just looks kind of gross and muddy. Uh, next you need some kind of whisk. We have one of these. It's like a milk frother, I think. I don't know. It froths things and that's what you need. So you can either use one of these or like the kitchen, what do you call those batter things? A whisk, electric whisk. Take that, put it in here for a couple minutes and you'll see what happens. Next up, it literally couldn't be any more simple. I'm gonna grab some ice. You can have this be a hot drink if you want. Um, it's more typically cold and that's the way that I prefer anyways. After that, you need some milk. I'm using oat milk. Um, I don't really drink normal milk anymore. Out of all the vegan milks, oat milk is the most creamy. So you wanna fill it up enough to you know have that milky taste and then you're literally gonna top it off with uh, your mixture and it's gonna look so pretty. 
Look at this, check this out. This looks like straight out of Starbucks or something like that. It's the easiest thing to do. It involves sugar, coffee, hot water, and milk. It's just the way you prepare it with the whiskey type thing. So now once you got it looking all pretty, you take your Instagram pictures, whatever you gotta do, mix it up and enjoy. Delicious and very, very nutritious. It's not, it's not nutritious, it's just very nice. And when it comes to breakfast, same thing applies. Simple, fast, but tasty, and this time, pretty healthy. All right, so the same way I like my coffee to be made in a simple way, it's the same thing for breakfast. So I actually really, really like this breakfast. It's really tasty, it's really quick to make, really simple, and it's pretty healthy. The one caveat, you have to like mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, then this recipe isn't for you. But uh, if you can deal with some mushrooms, it's actually a really easy way to make them taste so good. And mushrooms are pretty healthy for you. They're loaded with like antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, stuff like that. Very low calorie, which isn't a concern of mine, but I know it is for some people out there. Step one, get some mushrooms. That's what I have right here and you want to chop them. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect Just kind of rough and when you cook mushrooms, they really shrink So you want to always make sure that you pair more mushrooms than you think that you'll want All right now that I got my mushrooms chopped I'm just gonna move them all to a bowl It makes it a little easier to add to the pot later on nice and simple With the mushrooms chopped It's time to heat up the pan I have the biggest, biggest pot of butter that you've ever seen in your life. Once the oil is sufficiently warmed, it's time to add your butter. And this is gonna look like a lot of butter, but I told you the mushrooms need it. The mushrooms are so dry, they need the butter. So let me have my butter. I like the butter, okay? So roughly uh, a big scoop like that, okay? We're gonna go ahead and throw this in there and uh, it's gonna get steamy. And all I'm doing right now is uh, moving the butter around until it melts. Pretty straightforward stuff so far. Calm down. Jeez, this is definitely hot enough right now. So next step, you got your mushrooms, you got more than you think you need, but they will shrink. And we're just gonna add it straight to the pot. Just gonna mix it all together. After it's all nice and coated with the butter, salt and pepper, guys, is the most simple, yet some of the most, um, what is it called? You have a, like a big, uh, simple, effective. Some of the most, <laughs> Like I said, this breakfast is all about keeping it easy because when I'm when I'm uh, just woke up, I'm not trying to do any fancy stuff, okay? I'm just trying to make something tasty and quick. Bread in the toaster. This is this bread is not nice. Dinty brought this bought this bread. <sighs> if you guys are trying to be a little bit more calorie conscious, you don't have to add more butter if you don't want. But I'm not calorie conscious. You see this? Trying to make it grow. And finally, we are ready to top it off with the mushrooms. You guys are gonna see, this is the perfect amount. You wanna make sure you got enough mushrooms to cover all the bread. If anything, I could have even made more. And what I like to do, because I love my spice, I love spicy food. So I, this is just what I would do, I would take some of my spice and throw it on top. And yes, I realize, I feel like I'm making this, uh, this meal less and less appealing to most people out there. <laughs> mushrooms, not everyone loves mushrooms, not everyone's a fan of spice, but this is my dish. It's so simple, you fry up some mushrooms, put some butter in there, put some oil in there, salt, pepper, a little bit of seasoning if you've got it like this, and that's it. You can obviously elevate this dish by adding, I don't know, avocado, eggs, smoked salmon, whatever you think of, but I like it simple, straightforward like this. It's delicious. Once I got a good caffeine buzz going and I've got a little bit of a light layer in my stomach, it's time to hit my morning workout. I think one of the best ways to stay sane during this lockdown is to make sure that you're getting in movement. So on most mornings, Dinti and I follow an Instagram live workout that just really gets your heart rate going and, and your muscles burning. I personally love following a workout routine. I find that I push myself harder if I follow someone's instructions as opposed to just trying to do stuff myself. That's just how I work. So I really like these Instagram lives. There are so many of them that you can be tuning into right now, especially during quarantine. After the workout, it's time to shower and get clean. And I know a lot of these YouTube style guys like to show the shower B-roll while they're in the shower, but I don't have the muscles to make you jealous. So we're gonna, gonna go ahead and skip over that one. Once I'm cleaned up and my hair is styled, by the way, I recently did a tutorial for this exact style. So if you missed it out, you can check it out right up here in the corner. Uh, but after that, it's time to get the day started. For me, I usually start out and I'm catching up with email, you know, your boy's gotta make that bread during lockdown. Uh, times, times are tough. And once I get my emails done, my deals finalized, my morning routine is finished. Thank you guys for watching. Make yourself some mushroom toast and some TikTok coffee. It's yummy, it's so good. Check out Tej Hanley as well. The starter kit, very good price. $15 for very nice things inside the box. Thanks for watching and I'll see everybody 
next time.